Hello and welcome on Milan's Factory YouTube channel. Today's topic is EPC warning light. If the EPC warning light has come on in your vehicle, you're probably wondering what is an EPC light in a car? The electronic power control, shortcut EPC, warning light indicates a problem with your vehicle's throttle system, which could include the accelerator pedal fuel injection throttle body, traction control, cruise control or other systems. If you have an EPC car warning light illuminated on your vehicle's dashboard, watch out and listen for more information. What is the EPC light on a Volkswagen? With every passing year, the electronic controls for automotive systems are getting more and more sophisticated. The transmission engine systems, braking, and even the suspension are all governed by sensors and processors, enhancing reliability and safety but also requiring additional service necessities. The EPC light primarily monitors your vehicle's fuel injection system, although it can also indicate other malfunctions. I will explain what the Volkswagen EPC light indicates and what to do if it's illuminated. Can the EPC warning light cause a loss of power? Since the 1990s, many engine management systems have included what's called a limp-in mode or limp-home mode. Limp-in mode restricts the vehicle speed and might not let the automatic transmission shift out of second gear. It kicks in when the vehicle's drivetrain computer registers a serious problem and is designed to allow you to get to the dealership without causing any further damage to the system that's having a problem. So now let's talk about what can cause the EPC light to come on. Like a check engine light, the EPC code on a Volkswagen, for example, can be a generic warning or an alert of something more serious. When the drivetrain computer recognizes a reading out of normal specification for a system, it's stored in the computer as a trouble code or EPC code in the case of Volkswagen vehicles. In this instance, the EPC sensor has given the computer information that caused the vehicle to be put into limp-in mode. Potential issues can include malfunctions with fuel entering timing or emission systems, engine speed sensor failure, problems with other sensors such as the crank or cam position sensor, mass airflow sensor, and even the brake light switch, traction control problems, vehicle stability control problems, cruise control issues, and throttle pedal issues. Years ago, the accelerator and cruise control were connected to the throttle via cables. Today's systems are called drive-by-wire, a term that paradoxically means there are no cables anymore. The gas pedal and throttle talk to each other wirelessly and their status and positions are reported to the drivetrain computer wirelessly and in real time via sensors. So, is it safe to drive with the EPC light on? Quick answer is no. The EPC light could indicate a wide range of problems some relatively minor and some more serious. If your vehicle has an illuminated EPC light and uh, is in limp-in mode, you need to take it to a dealer for diagnosis and repair as soon as you can. In addition, some cars are equipped with an electronic stability control system may shut down entirely when the EPC program detects problems with the EPC management system. So if you are searching, for a new cars for sale, it's important to take note of this. Can a dead battery cause the EPC light to come on? Yes. Your vehicle systems and sensors rely on a baseline voltage, which can vary depending on the sensor, to work properly. Any dip in the baseline voltage from a dead battery, failing alternator or even a bad or loose battery cable can be enough to cause drivability problems or just shut the vehicle down entirely and trigger the EPC light. And the last question that I'm going to answer is how to reset the EPC light. Various generation of cars have multiple procedures to, for resetting the EPC light. 
I have to advise against doing this unless the problem that triggers the EPC light has been diagnosed and repaired first. Whether it's a Volkswagen EPC light or a check engine light on some other make, these systems are designed to take a lot of the guesswork and deduction out uh, of diagnosis and repair for technicians. So that's all for today. That's all about EPC light. Uh, if you have any question, just write it down below in the comment section. And uh, that's all for today. Thanks a lot for listening and see you next time. Bye.